Well, Kenny, that was a far different second half. Yeah, it was. I thought um, first half we did look nervous, definitely, and um, uh, took us a little while to work through that. And I did think, um, you know, for for us, with the way things went, um, uh, nil nil at half time was something that we could we could move forward and build on, and we did. You know, I was pleased with the second half. We had more chances. I thought, you know, overall we deserved our win. Uh, had. Other good chances to go with, an, you know, an excellent goal cross and uh, header from Pittman, you know, and even the penalty aside, you know, Close had two very good chances uh, and a good clean sheet at the back. So, you know, hopefully, you know, for us as a group and for the players, it's a building block. You know, we can't uh, um, go right to, you know, full confidence and maybe the top of our game in one hit. Each win builds a confidence, each clean sheet builds some confidence. Uh, getting Marcus Harness back, I think, is quite a big one because he's, you know, no disrespect to anybody else, but he's an important player for us and a very good player as well. And, and um, you know, if, if he can stay fit now uh, and get to, you know, maximum speed, you know, we can build on, you know, what's a, what's a good win and hopefully in our season a good building block today. These nerves down to the position you find yourselves in and playing in front of a home crowd. Yeah, it is, but that's part of you know playing professional football. That's part of playing for Portsmouth, which is you know an absolutely great club, and um, you have to come through that. Uh, you have to be able to handle it. I think anybody can play or, or manage you know one good game at Portsmouth. That's the case, that's the case through the away side. It's different playing for Portsmouth or it's different managing them. You've, you have to uh, uh, be strong enough and good enough. Uh, uh, to, to, to come through, you know, spells like that uh, and make sure you put on a performance like you did in the second half and then better because obviously you know, we want to build confidence and try and improve. Arnest oh, made a difference, as you say, suggest, when he came on. Yeah, he's had a good start to his, to his Portsmouth career, been very pleased with him and, um, you know, he has to uh, keep fit now uh, and, you know, play a big part. He, he can, you know, he has a lot of ability and can be the difference for us, we feel, this year. When Brett's penalty hits the post, you must stand there with your hands just out and you know ringing, ringing, ringing everything because it's, you know, it, what else can you do? Yes, yeah, it's a tough one and, and it's a collector's item anyway. Brett Pittman missing a penalty. He doesn't miss many um, and uh, he'll be on the next one. That'll be the case. You know, he's good enough uh, to come through that and, you know, great that I thought an excellent cross, you know, he converted with a header, but from an excellent cross, uh, got the winner, which was, was the difference. And, and overall, you know, I did think, you know, deserved the Man of, Man of the Match award, played very well. Uh, and as I said, you know, for us, it's, it's a, a good second half, a deserved win. Uh, uh, hopefully now a building block in our season towards building up some confidence, some momentum. You know, we have to, we have, we have to earn that. Nobody's going to give us that. And, and we, have, we have to earn that. We have to dig in, earn everybody's respect, everybody's confidence. And uh, that's part of, you know, professional football now. And it's part of playing for Portsmouth and we're capable of it. Do you feel you have to go on a run of wins? Yeah, it looks it. I mean, if you're looking at the, the, the table and, and where we are, I know we have a game or two in hand, but, you know, we're on nine points. And, and you know, of course we want to run, but even if the, if you're at the top, you'd want to run. You need you need to run wherever you are. And, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're in a, a, a position we don't want to be in the table and we want to be up there competing if we can. And there's only, you know, ourselves and our good form will change that. Did you feel comfortable at 1-0? Uh, you, you, you've never necessarily comfortable uh, until the whistle's gone and, and certainly at 1-0 however dominant you are you know something can happen they had the, the, the free kick from some 30-35 yards out which with the wind he hit but I always felt Craig had that covered other than that you know, it didn't create anything second half and I'm pleased to say that even with five minutes injury time you know we came through it as a group and um, uh, managed to one, keep a clean sheet, and two, most, most importantly, you know, get a win that, w that, that we have to make sure we build on. Yeah, you say about clean sheet, you put Raggett in. Were you pleased with the defence? Yeah, definitely. We've been looking to settle, you know, a back four down as much as we possibly could. And it's a shame to lose Solly Hawkins, but these things happen. And, and you know, we've needed a big centre-half, if you like, at times, particularly in both boxes, because you know, we've been second best a little bit so far in set pieces, which isn't you know, good enough to be, you know, a consistent winner. And, and, and Sean, you know, will, will, will really, I think, build on that and hopefully forge a good partnership now with uh, Christian Burgess.